brain injury is the probably the most devastating disease of all. Uh, now I'm biased when I say that, of course. When it occurs, uh, uh, it doesn't necessarily result in death, but in contrast to a badly broken bone that can mend and get you back going, it, it may leave long-term disability. So the long-term effect on the patient and the family and the environment and the economy is, is big, is high. Um, it's really kind of the ignored or orphan disease in the world. So there's a lot of research going on, but in a relative sense, it's vastly underfunded and under-researched. This study has been discussed for over two decades as, as a study that was desired but unlikely to ever happen because uh, we adopted intracranial pressure monitoring in uh, the high-income countries at the academic centers because we were pretty convinced that it made a difference and it became standard of practice even though the, the hard yards of the rigorous research hadn't been done. I traveled outside of the, the high-income countries and got to know better my colleagues in low- and middle-income countries, I realized that most of the world doesn't practice like that. And they don't have these monitors, and they're actually um, interested in uh, determining whether or not they need them. We realized that this study that no one ever thought could be done could be done completely ethically. In developing world, uh, there's an interesting phenomenon that as per capita income goes up, the incidence of uh, traumatic brain injury skyrockets. As you can afford transportation, the transportation is usually cheap. They become more automobiles, but they're not the fanciest automobiles. The need for seat belts never trumps the need for, for other bits like more fuel. Bolivia is the second poorest country in Latin America, and we did our study in Bolivia and Ecuador, and Ecuador does have a higher standard of living, but both of them suffer from significant resource limitations. When you walk into the hospitals at Simos of Trauma, you walk into probably the 1960s. You know, they, they make up for maybe uh, fancy bedside monitors by spending time at the bedside. No one's studied their method of treatment, so literally, uh, there are no publications on tested approaches to treating brain injury without these fancy toys. The first time we actually have a treatment approach, a paradigm for treating people that aren't monitored. We, we've, we've reached uh, a state of an uncertainty, which most people aren't comfortable being a little off balance. but. Indeed, in terms of research, what we've done is, is pointed out what we need to know. We, if we can get the funding and, uh, to, to go ahead, we will be doing head injury much better in a decade.